across South Leicestershire and North Northamptonshire. 102.3 HFM. Stand by. It's interview time. Welcome along to the show, Elizabeth. I'm, I'm virtually very happy to be here. Oh, it's good to have you. <laughs> now, I know you was originally uh, born in uh, Boston, Massachusetts, but now you live in... Uh, Roma, I mean, yeah. uh, the eternal city, as I would say. Uh, yes, it's still here. I'm still here. <laughs> yeah. I've been on my own, upstairs in my room, polishing stones. Slowly I roll them over and over. Like a woman and a man Love comes with time Patience is wise Arriving in Europe and in Italy in particular, I felt good. People were very warm and the, the food was delicious and the surroundings, the aesthetically, they were just beautiful for me. Um, I thought maybe I could, I could stay in Italy. My heart has eyes of its own. It goes where it wants to go, with or without me. So I decided to, to try living in the Rome area. And this was not a music business decision. It wasn't a decision for work. Um, it was a, more of a personal artistic decision. Uh, but it turned out to be really kind of fun and interesting to find the musicians here. Because um, I'd come from Nashville and, and everybody is a musician or a songwriter or a producer or a manager or a lawyer. You know, you can't get away from them. <laughs> so I wanted to live in a place where, uh, with, with normal people who were not in the music business. <laughs> And it was fun to discover some great musicians and the wonderful Italian players, the very passionate players, and, and the European players listen to the American players a lot, but they also have influences from around the world. Una curiosità mia, where did you record this, the album? I the recorded studio. it. Yes, in uh, Rome at my my producer's studio, oh, okay. uh, Filippo De Lauro. We oh. recorded the vocals and guitars in his studio at home. Abbiamo registrato le, le batterie, batte cussioni, non so come si possa definire. Massimo Cusato, questo bravissimo percussionista batterista. Quello siamo andati in sala e e abbiamo, fatto, abbiamo curato con molta attenzione uh, tutte le, le, le registrazioni con delle percussioni. Uh, le chitarre acustiche, le voci, tutti gli altri strumenti li abbiamo registrati qui, con ottimi microfoni, con tutto quello che serve. E poi siamo andati in sala a fare il mix con tutte apparecchiature analogiche, con SSL, il mix e, e mastering ovviamente. Finding Filippo De Laura and working with him as a producer, um, he, he seems to even go the extra mile or the extra kilometer to, to really try to understand what the artist wants and what the artist is looking for. I think he's a very unusual producer and I feel very fortunate to find him and, and work with him. Lei cercava, come dire, un, un suono acustico caldo e, e diverso, originale, quindi una maniera diversa di usare anche degli strumenti sia da reti tradizionali, quindi chitarra folk, la sua chitarra, integrandola con una serie di colori uh, diversi, insoliti. L'abbiamo pure passato dentro un feedback di lei ed è venuta fuori questa cosa bellissima, strana questo suono che sembra un synth 
in realtà è lei <laughs> and then Filippo De Laura plays the Chapman stick which is a very unusual um, type of bass you can say but the playing style the technique is a tapping technique and... Sono solo chitarra e stick. La chitarra di Elisabeth, ovviamente. This wonderful percussionist um, from Calabria, Massimo Crusato. And he does this perfect mix of uh, drums and percussion. And I really wanted percussion on this uh, disc. Uh, there's a fantastic Spanish guitarist Ernesto Cosio and and he added some beautiful sounds with his Spanish classical guitar and then having the Swedish player that I started working with uh, Mats Hedberg from Stockholm who lives in Rome also he's doing some really really great work with effects uh, with electric guitar and acoustic guitar and I know that he is playing something very different and original also he's an artist and a composer himself and I know that he's playing something very different than what I would get in Nashville even though the Nashville players are fantastic I think the European players for me are more surprising and unpredictable and have you know a different story in their music and in their lives there is a uh, underlying a river of, of love <laughs> going through Italy that that is a great inspiration the women and the people are just beautiful you know and and they're very uh, elegant and sensual and, and sexy and there's people What kissing the, <laughs> on the streets and <laughs> uh, so I think there's uh, you know it's been a, it is a great uh, atmosphere and ambience to to be writing love songs I'll be your moon turning 